Joe Trahan with the Dallas Cowboys. And we broke ground in uh, the fall of 2006. Finished in 2009, it's a $1.2 billion facility. It was made for not only the Dallas Cowboys, but as for college football, college basketball, NBA, uh, you name it. Our very first NFL game, we had 105,121 people. That is still an NFL record for the most ever attended regular season game. The thing that people most like about the stadium is just how open it is, how available it is. You're able to see the Dallas Cowboys official locker room, the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders official locker room, and Jerry Jones' own personal area. The one thing you have to do when you're here is you have to take a picture on the 50-yard line on the star. Take a picture on the star. Do not leave without it. Cowboy Stadium not only is open for tours, is not only open for Cowboys games, but we have many events. You're welcome to come visit Cowboy Stadium seven days a week. We'd love to have you here. It's usually from around 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Please come on out to Cowboy Stadium. My name is Jimmy Turner, Senior Director of Gardens for the Dallas Arboretum. The Dallas Arboretum was founded about the mid-1980s, and the thought was the Dallas, city of Dallas needed a fabulous garden to go along with the fabulous city. We've kind of changed over the last 30 years over that. We're actually now a botanical garden become display garden. We plant about five and a half million bedding plants per year, half a million tulip bulbs every spring, 70,000 pumpkins every fall. So we're really here as a place of beauty for people to take photos and learn about how to garden. Every day I come to the garden, I find something new. Sometimes I've been here almost 11 years and I see things that I've never seen before. So if you come every day, every week, twice a year, you're never going to get the same experience. I think that's probably the, my favorite part. The Dallas Arboretum is a garden. You're here to see the garden, but I think the thing that most people don't realize is we're almost every day have some special event going on. You can visit us every day of the year except for three days. We're closed Christmas Day, New Year's Day, and Thanksgiving Day. Other than that, we're open up seven days a week, nine to five every day. Every season changes, so it's always important to go to the web and see what's going on that day or which day, because there's always something special going on here as well as just seeing a beautiful place to walk around. My name is Gary Mack, and I'm the curator of the Sixth Floor Museum at Dealey Plaza. The Sixth Floor Museum opened in February 1989 on President's Day. What we do, we tell the history uh, in, in context. We tell it in chronological order. Who were the Kennedys? Why were they in Texas that day? What happened, as far as anyone knows? Uh, the investigations and the Kennedy legacy. One of the most important things to remember about the Kennedy assassination is the transition of power from one president to the next did not even skip a beat. Lyndon Johnson was sworn in as president uh, an hour and a half or so after the assassination and the continuity of government was maintained. When a leader passes, they, sometimes the, the country can fall into chaos. Didn't happen in the United States. We have visitors from all over the world. Our audio tours are in several languages, and it's amazing how the legacy of President Kennedy and the mystery, of course, about what happened in, in Dallas that day, uh, it's amazing how it has affected so many people of so many ages and races. Uh, we had everybody here. The museum is open every day except Christmas from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday and noon to 6 p.m. on Monday. Come on down. Jason Bradbury, Assistant Director of Friends of Fair Park. Fair Park started back in the late 1800s in some way, shape, or form, but in 1936, we got the World's Fair, or the Texas Centennial at the time, so they built Fair Park at that time for that show, and we've kept it around ever since. There's four permanent museums here at Fair Park. We've got the African American Museum and the Hall of State, Texas Discovery Garden, and the Dallas Children's Aquarium. The aquarium is run in conjunction with the Dallas Zoo. It's designed as a kid's first aquarium experience. The biggest attraction is the State Fair. After that, it's a great place to have festivals because you can get a lot of people in, great parking, great venues for large festivals, and those festivals draw a lot of visitors to Fair Park. I like the, uh, the history behind it and the park atmosphere, the lagoon, the Esplanade Fountain with the Art Deco murals. It's just a fascinating place to come and you see something new every time. The park is open year round. 24-7, 365 days a year. There's always something going on at Fair Park, and it can be affordable, so it's a great place to bring the family.